We've heard several arguments behind why state leaders believe U.S. Space Command should remain in Colorado. And one of those arguments surrounds national security. I sat down with a former commander of Space Command to get a better idea of what a change in location could mean. I think that uh, the role space plays in their everyday life and obviously in our economy is, is significant. Many of us don't sit around thinking about space, but for retired General Ed Eberhardt, he did for years as the final commander of U.S. Space Command before it dissolved in 2002. Space was essentially a sanctuary. Space Command returned in August 2019, along with the creation of Space Force. And in Eberhardt's eyes, since he served as commander. At that time, it was different, obviously, than it is now. I mean, what? Uh, what an, what an understatement. He says there's a lot more to consider when it comes to defense operations and space. And it's a much different world. Uh, we look at our competition in space. Uh, uh, it's much more alarming, stark. And as we look at what other countries are doing when it comes to space. We can no longer assume that a war won't begin or be prosecuted to some degree in space. As for why keeping it in Colorado Springs is of concern for national security, there are a few variables Eberhardt says contribute to that. National security, you just don't talk about military operations. Uh, it's much broader than that. One aspect, the economy. A weak economy to me is a national security issue uh, and it contributes to a strong uh, economy. Springs Chamber reports hundreds of high earning jobs would remain in the area if the decision to move Space Command changes under the Biden administration. From a leadership standpoint, what impact do you think it might have if it does end up moving out of Colorado Springs? Say, Chicken Little, the, the sky is falling here, that it, it, it won't work, you know, it'll fail. That, that's wrong. That's absolutely wrong. Uh, but the amount of time and energy and money that will be spent, that could otherwise be spent, obviously just continuing on the vector and the trajectory we're, the trajectory we're on now, it would be much better spent. But why, why go build another building? Eberhardt adds he doesn't want to disparage other locations in the process, but the history Colorado Springs has with Space Command should be a consideration in where the final home is. I do think it's a mistake to move it. I think it's in our genes, it's in our blood. I'd like to think that possession is nine-tenths of the law. As for what happens next. I think it's important that, that, that we, we try to recompete this. And in the last month, state lawmakers and Colorado's congressional delegation have called on the Biden administration to look into the decision to move the headquarters. We'll continue to follow the process and let you know of anything that happens.